Hi everybody, Rob here again from Power Learning Solutions and today I want to talk about a problem that a lot of my ed tech students face and that is how to select the right tool for a particular problem that you have an instructional design problem or a lesson planning problem based on your own circumstances. Now I like to use a tool called Sections, which was uh, first developed by Tony Bates, and I'll give you some information later on in this video on how to learn more about that and where that tool comes from. The uh, Sections template helps walk you through the steps of looking at all of the particular context problems that you'd want to consider everything from your students and their particular needs to your organizational issues. So the first step to figuring out what particular ed tech you need is to think in terms of what problem you need to solve. You wouldn't start off by uh, looking at all the tools available to you at Home Depot or Home Hardware or uh, Lowe's or whatever store you're going to and thinking, hey, what can I do with these tools? Rather, you would look at what problem do I have to fix in my house right now? And then you would determine which tool is the best fit for that. If we want to look at another non-ed tech problem, well, let's look at the situation of Rob, a hypothetical instructor from a university who maybe was hired to teach at that university during the COVID-19 pandemic. So he spent the first year or so working remotely. Now, however, the campus is opening back up. So Rob has to figure out how he's going to get to campus now uh, for his new university. Well, that all depends on the context. Maybe Rob lives in a big city, or maybe he lives in a small town. If Rob lives in a big city, he's got a couple of different options available to him. He could maybe look at uh, mass transit and uh, taking the bus to work and getting himself a bus pass. Or in the case of uh, maybe Rob living in a smaller town, Maybe mass transit is not uh, a viable option. There, there's not as many mass transit options available in a small town. So Rob would need to look at getting his own personal vehicle. Okay, so if I'm living or if Rob is living in a small town and decides to go with a personal vehicle, now he would go from that type of transportation technology to picking a specific current application. Uh, in this case, maybe I could look at getting a small new car, or maybe I could look at getting that SUV that I had my eyes on. So there's different options that are available. You start from the problem, you look at your context, you pick the type of tool that you want, and then you go from there and pick the best current application. In a couple of years time, the situation may not change. The type of transportation that uh, Rob would need in his situation would not change, but maybe Rob could look at getting a different new model of vehicle that has just come on the market. The same holds true when you're looking at educational technology. Now, I mentioned using the sections template. Um, this is an Excel spreadsheet here that I have that's based on Bates's sections tool. And it starts off with a tab where you can lay out the specifics of your problem to help you understand the context of what you're looking at. And then it's got a couple of other tabs. The first one, you're gonna use sections to uh, compare two different types of technology. Uh, maybe you have uh, video conferencing technology as one and podcasting technology as another, for example. Once you answer all of these questions and, and put in all of your concerns for them, you can decide which type of technology is best. And you go on to looking at a specific application, run through the process again, answer all of the questions, and it'll help you determine which specific application is the best for you. And you can then answer the questions on the final tab, which relate to your final recommendations. I have uh, a sample here that a student passed uh, into me for um, a tool selection assignment a couple of years back. So let's take a look at a completed one. 
in this case, this student is uh, looking at some problems with core French and they, uh, they've given some contextual information here for the particular course and the problem that they're looking at. Okay, there's a little bit more information here, including the problem that they want uh, to resolve. Uh, so they're going to look at a couple of types of technology. In this case, they look at uh, podcasting versus personal video conferencing as their types of technology. They've answered all of the questions here. And if you look at the final recommendations, they have chosen to go with podcasting as the type of technology that they want to use. So they've gone on to the uh, Assess Applications tab. Now they're looking at two current applications that could be used to create uh, podcasts. So they're looking at Vocaroo and Audacity, which are two viable options. They've answered all of the questions to consider here. And in their final recommendations, they've settled on using Vocaroo, and they've given a detailed explanation here as to why they think Vocaroo is a better option for them than using Audacity. So again, what you want to do is always start with your problem. Once you know your problem and your own unique context, then you select the type of tool that would work best for you. You compare some different options and you settle on the best tool. Once you know what the best tool is, you look at a current application of that tool and that can change from time to time. And you finally start, uh, you finally finish by making your final recommendations as to which particular tool is going to present the solution to your problem. Now, I mentioned that uh, the sections tool comes from Tony Bates from Teaching in a Digital Age. He's got the second edition of that book available now. It's an open access book, and the link is on the bottom of the screen. If you want to check that out, it's well worth the read to learn a little bit more about the sections tool and how it fits into the bigger picture of selecting educational technology to solve your instructional design problems.